picking is the art of being able to take a flat pick and pick a series of notes across a series of strings. Cross picking can be used to create a finger picking kind of sound against the background chords. Another use is to cross pick in between the vocal phrases. And lastly, in its most sophisticated form, you can work the melody into your cross picking. It is generally agreed that this fellow, George Scheffler, was the first to use the technique when he was playing with the Stanley Brothers in the 1950s. He said he came up with the idea as a way to fill up the space in between the rather lengthy pauses that the Stanley Brothers would have in their vocal phrasing. In this video we'll go over both how cross-picking is performed and places where it has been used. We'll conclude the video by giving you a nice easy solo that you can learn to perform in the cross-picking style. Most bluegrass pickers view cross-picking on guitar as imitating the banjo doing a roll. That's known as a forward roll on the banjo. Whereas I was finger-picking those notes on the banjo, we will get the same sound on the guitar with this flat pick and we will go down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. This is the pattern that George Shuffler considered his primary go-to pattern. The best description I've heard of cross-picking is that you are always picking toward the next string you intend to play, meaning that I'm going to start on string four, the next string will be string three, so I pick down. I next want to pick string two, so I pick down. But then, the next string after I play string two is going to come back to string four, so I pick up. While George Shuffler's style was extremely filled with cross-picking, he did it both with the Stanley Brothers and later as a member of the Clinch Mountain Boys with Ralph Stanley's band, other players just use it from time to time as the song calls for it. Doc Watson used this same down, down, up, down, down, up technique in the second part of his song Beaumont Rag. I previously presented this in this video of 15 of Doc Watson's coolest licks. Here it is again. Some down, down, up cross-picking wraps it up in number one. Using the description of picking down toward the next string, you could end up picking across more than just the three strings we've been using. For example, here would be House of the Rising Sun in cross-picking technique. We should note, however, that bluegrass players in general think of cross-picking as employing a group of three consecutive strings. It could be any three strings. 5-4-3, 4-3-2, 3-2-1. And with that in mind, the easiest way to learn how to do this is to play in 3-4 time and just simply do the pattern twice. Down, down, up, down, down, up. One and two and three and. Another musical element comes into play when we play in 3-4 time, especially in bluegrass. That usually implies the song is at a slower tempo, so there's time to put a little lilt into your picking that's referred to as a shuffle or playing with swing. When you do that, the pattern will sound like that, which is a series of long notes on the beat and the shorter notes on the end of the beat. So the first group of three would be long, short, long. The second group of three would be short, long, short. And it's something you just want to learn to get by ear. Don't overanalyze it. Just play with the swing if it feels right. So let's now take that 3-4 time pattern, play it against a series of chords that will give you a background picking for Amazing Grace.
moving back to 4-4 time, let's now demonstrate how cross-picking can be used to fill in the space between vocal phrases. Here's a little bit of Country Roads. This time the down, down, up begins on beat 2 and plays into the following measure, as the next vocal phrase doesn't begin until beat 3. The three notes are notes from the background chord, so in this sense you are playing what's called arpeggios, notes of a chord played one at a time. This song is played evenly, unlike the last one where we had the swing. One, two. It should be mentioned that many people choose to do cross picking, but they're picking across the strings, but they continue to use their typical down and up picking. This will give you a different syncopated sound, but it's still a valid way of picking across the strings, just constant down and up maintained throughout your eighth notes. Next, I will use the tune Wildwood Flower to demonstrate placing melody notes within the cross picking. This sometimes requires unusual right hand moves like in the first full measure. Notice that the next two measures are our standard pattern. The tag lick is no longer considered cross picking and this shows that the technique can be interspersed in a solo rather than just used exclusively. The underlying notes are the melody so listen for those amongst all the notes being played. One, two. <laughs> As promised, we'll now give you a complete solo to give it a try. Just follow the bouncing ball of the tab on the screen and you'll be able to play along. Should you need it slowed down, just use the YouTube settings. If the song sounds a little familiar, that's because the first couple of phrases are the exact same melody as Country Roads, even though we're playing Banks of the Ohio. <laughs> 